What's going on, everyone? It's Andres, and I did not get to do a coffee break this week for my Instagram Live TV, uh, and I wasn't able to do a tech talk uh, also. So I'm like, you know what? Why don't I just merge the two together and talk tech while having coffee? So first things first. Mm, that's good stuff. Alrighty. Well, I have a few things that I wanted to you know, just get out of the way, so I'm going to try to keep this episode as brief as possible, uh, but also covering some things that uh, I didn't get to cover while also providing updates on other things that uh, I was covering. So I'll get to that. For those of you that are not aware of my content, that's why I always have my website pulled up because there's so much more that goes on that I do behind the scenes that you're probably not aware of, and you can find it all at www.thinkscoba.com. Um, I say that my platforms are, well, my show is on a bunch of other platforms out there, but the one centralized place you can get everything is my website including off the record which is the show behind the show you don't need a membership for that anymore you can just go on over and check out what content i have going on and when you click off the record you'll see all the other um, shows that i have here so check that out well this is one of the things i wanted to cover that i get, didn't get to cover when it was announced by amazon this is the amazon astro their smart home robot <laughs> uh, any of you, any of you that use the um, the ring system would probably find this uh, attractive. Some people call it Wally. I call it Short Circuit Five without the arms and what's well, charm. But it's it, it's Amazon Alexa uh, that's always listening. Um, I gotta tell you, you want a spy bot in your home? It doesn't get much more obvious than this. Yeah, I think the, the Babylon Bee did a I did a little uh, comic about this where the robot kind of smacks away um, a book that you're reading that Amazon wouldn't approve of if they banned it. <laughs> just, I just think that's hilarious. It's like, oh, well, what are you reading? What are you doing? Look, just then you know that I would not bring this thing into my home. Uh, Ten years ago, I would have been like, oh, that's pretty cool. You know, like Asimo from uh, uh, from Honda, the 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 actual uh, physical um, helper uh, for the elderly in in Japan. Um, this thing is not that. This thing is more like a, um, I spy with my two little eyes for big tech kind of bot. Uh, so it's not really helping in my opinion. But anyway, um, it just I'm trying to be as general as possible. So let's keep going, shall we? Uh, so, all right. So this next one is with respects to Windows 11 slash. Um, Surface Duo. I'm, I'm not saying the number two, but I'm going to mention number two because as soon as you pull the MicrosoftStore.com, they usually have like this sliding banner. They only have two uh, marks here on the sliding banner. That's it. So they're kind of pushing the Surface Pro 8, which is probably going to be their best selling model. Uh, but I find it interesting that nowhere here they have a mention of the Surface Duo 2. What, did you guys give up on it? No, look, if you hit the um, shop Surface devices, you'll be able to find it buried in the second or third area so you can then click and then see the Surface Duo 2. But it's along with respects to this that I want to provide an update um, here uh, to you all. If uh, you haven't seen my clip, I clipped it out of one of my tech talks where I'm talking about an issue that I'm having with the advanced warranty exchange department with Microsoft. Um, I did give an update uh, in the case that I finally was able to reach somebody at Microsoft and it's been about a month but I finally was able to reach out uh, connect with someone at Microsoft that said they were on it um, and then they gone dark I have not been able to reach them even though I have the the claim ticket and everything and it's, it's been second attempt I reached out again yesterday it's like what is going on um, I need to know an update they confirmed that I didn't receive the device uh, here's a quick backstory um, they sent me uh, they FedExed me the replacement device and the box that it comes with, I'm supposed to put my defective uh, Surface Duo to send back with the return label that comes in the box. Um, I never got the, the shipment. FedEx never delivered it. And admittingly, FedEx said that they didn't deliver. But they told that to me. And it says, I'm not the sender, the recipient. It had to be Microsoft. I needed to check with, micro, uh, with FedEx. And they were able to do that about two weeks ago uh, to confirm that uh, FedEx did not indeed deliver the product to me. And I get it. With a, a lot of uh, time and fraud, um, I've seen the videos of delivery folks um, being caught on these, on these ring systems, um, showing up, dropping off the box taking a picture for proof to their uh, to the higher ups and then just picking up the box taking it with them you know th there's a lot of the scam that happens uh, in this case though um fedex never delivered i never got it and uh microsoft finally confirmed that but it's been almost 10 days so it's like well what now uh, I i'm within 
I'm past the range that they told me they were going to help me solve this because they already charged me for not returning my defective device. And I thought, how can I return my defective device if I haven't received the box and the return label to return it to? That should speak volumes as to not having received the phone in the first place, the one that was being sent out to me. So as a consolation package, uh, I hope that uh, Microsoft, you'll send me at least the Surface Duo 2. No, because there's no way I'm going to spend that much more for that. And also, I demand my refund. Anyway, uh, to along those lines, uh, speaking about Microsoft that uh, and things not going so well, I'm not going to pull up these articles, but I just wanted to highlight them because I was upset when I first did my PC health check um, earlier in the summer um, and said that my device was, was uh, compatible with Windows 11 until the newest PC check health check checkup thing says that my processor is not uh, um, does not meet the requirements to upgrade to Windows 11 despite being on the list the first time. So I don't know what's happened since then. Suddenly, I'm not able to. So there's a poll that Windows Central was doing. Are you upgrading to Windows 11? Uh, the number one answer is yes. The number two answer is my when my computer uh, cannot or is not compatible with Windows 11. So a lot of people are expressing th that much. But when Windows Central... Um, Zach Bowden, I think, is the one that uh, reviewed Windows 11, gave it just over three stars. It kind of tells you that the software is not really ready for prime time. So maybe it's okay that it uh, we're not going to be forced Windows 11 into our system with these auto updates. So just wanted to throw that out there because I do want to try Windows 11. I like the aesthetics. Um, I love what, uh, the features that it's pr trying to bring in simplicity, although I'm not a fan of getting rid of the live tiles because it's set it apart, but it's supposed to be bringing widgets. And I, okay, fine. At least there's a, a thing to go around the whole live tile situation. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts there. Okay, now moving along because I just got two more items to do and I'm just wrapping this whole thing up because um, I don't want to be long. I just want to make sure I put some stuff out there and give you a channel update. Uh, I did an unboxing and first impressions and comparison of the Under Armour Project Rock over-ear uh, training headphones. I'm wearing them. That's if you didn't catch that the first time. I'm using them right now. These are it. Um, I really like the the look and feel. They do feel lighter than the previous gen, but I do like the matte finish that it doesn't hold on to the grimy. Um, no fingerprints, but uh, it does have a, a anti-slip feel to it. So when you have sweaty hands, or um, they won't actually slip off entirely. Uh, the difference between these on ear, because these are big enough to go on the like like I mean over the ear that is over the ear versus the on ear of the previous gen, which I think is a picture down here. Um, these down here, I have it in white. Uh, these are on the ear where they literally sit on your ears uh, versus this one where the suction cups are big enough to go over the ears. These are considerably more comfortable uh, than um, than the previous gen on-ear headphones. Uh, so I guess you could say this is my uh, quick review um, or hot take of the Project Rock over-the-ear training headphones by JBL. These are considerably more comfortable uh, to have over the ear than they are on the ear because the on the ear ones, I couldn't keep them on for, if you go on beyond 30 minutes, you're going to get headaches because it's just pressuring your head. And in this case, I wore these uh, about an hour and a half and I took them off because I forgot that I was wearing them. I was like, oh snap, I got to take these off. I do like uh, the look. I like the feel. Uh, I didn't know they had a white version of it. Uh, so this is the white version. Um, I, it wasn't available when I was shopping around for these things, but it's okay because like I said, the, the on the ear headphones, not over there, uh, are the ones that I have are the, the white and black versions, which I think look a lot better than the than the gold here. Uh, would it match my shoes though? So that's pretty cool. But still, it doesn't matter. Um, I prefer the black just because how I'm, I was dirtying up the white ones, even though they were similar material. It's like, nah, I probably stick with this ones. My only, well, I shouldn't say my only, because it is a major gripe, uh, because the whole point of the headphones, the whole point is the sound. So, um, for those of you that, that saw Flossy Carter's take on it, this is a dude that, that uh, pumps iron way more than I do, lifts way more than I can. Uh, I'm trying to work my way up there. Uh, it's, and this dude uses all sorts of, of headphones, but the, I think he and I have different uh, uh, musical um, uh, tastes and aesthetics. So the way he tested them, um, 
he said they were they were good enough for what it was, uh, but he didn't put it in the video. He put it in his comment section that uh, JBL, if you have the app, you can tune it and then you can um, mess with the equalizer and get more bass out of the headphones because that was the number one complaint that he wasn't getting enough bass out of the headphones, which is uh, pretty cool. So when you use a JBL app, you are able to get um, that uh, it, it'll default over to how The Rock likes it. So it says Project Rock EQ, or you can customize your own EQ under some presets there uh, through JBL. That's the part that I don't like, though. The fact that you kind of have to use the app in order to actually get the most out of these headphones. Who is going to know that? When you open the box, there's nothing there that says, hey, download the JBL headphone apps. Nowhere does it say that. And honestly, the app kind of sucks because uh, I had a lot of pairing issues trying to get it to work. So, no, I'm not exactly uh, all up on the, uh, the having to use a JBL app in conjunction to everything else that I was doing. I just want to be able to pair my headphones to my device and just listen to whatever I want to listen to is music, podcasts, audiobooks, whatever, uh, YouTube in the background. I just want to be able to enjoy the headphones. And it's along those lines where I actually uh, do complain about uh, the, the music not being loud enough. Um, my The over the on the ear one, uh, the ones that are uncomfortable, I felt despite the fact that you can't customize the EQ on it through the JBL app are considerably louder. This is how I felt using the same music. So, yeah, that's that's my one major gripe about it. The, but the comfort factor, the noise cancellation, the clarity of the audio compared to the first one, mostly I think it's mostly the design part. Um, it it does uh, it, it does make a worthwhile upgrade, and I, I think this one was a big deal for me, um, making sure that this one has a three point five millimeter. Uh, jack here uh, to in and out so if you lose the cable that the container comes with then you're not going to feel too bad if you have the standard size lying around because the previous gen is a 2.5 millimeter so unless you have plenty of those lying around and micro usb charging it's then you're going to have a, a difficult time like me having i don't want to carry that many cables uh, and I have had it where the the headphones died, so you have to use the wire. And I, I happen to have that wire, um, but no, uh, it's just uh, it's a it's a bit cumbersome. So I do appreciate the upgrades these bring, and I do think that they could probably get some more sound out of this with an update because it did have a firmware update. So maybe there'll be another one. That again, that's just me. Uh, so uh, we'll see. Um, we'll see. Uh, one of the other things I do like about these headphones, and that has to do a lot with those. That if, if you ever use the, the, the Surface Cans, uh, I call them Surface Cans, um, the Surface headphones, as soon as you bring them down, listening to music, watching a video, it pauses right away. Even when you take them off and you put them on a bench. So when you put them back on, the music resumes. What's really cool about all that is uh, I'm working out. Whether I'm standing up in prone position or on the floor, up or down, like face down, if I'm going to be doing a, a, a Superman back raises and things like that, uh, the headphones somehow know that I didn't put them down, that I'm actually still wearing them. That is really cool. So I do feel these are awesome, but you can get them at a discount, which you probably will not be able to. I'm having a hard time justifying $300 for these, for these headphones. Um, well, there is that... Uh, um, there is the uh, the factor that you can sweat into these things and not worry about it. You can remove the suction cups and actually clean them. That's really important to be able to uh, have for the longevity of, of these uh, headphones. So they're meant to be uh, uh, abused. So I guess that's one major factor working in, in its favor. But just know these this item is excluded from any promo codes and offers. And that actually goes for everything when it comes to Under Armour, whenever they have a sale or anything, they never put these things on special. Uh, sometimes these will carry over to Best Buy, not Amazon. So you might be able, if you have some like uh, rewards uh, that saved up or whatever, and you're curious, that might be a way to save a penny or two um, against the $300 price tag of these headphones. Um, because I, I'm, yeah, 300 bucks is a lot of money. But yeah, anyway, so those are basically the things that I wanted to wrap everything up, giving you some updates about some things that have gone on and also address some things that I felt uh, were were bothering me because uh, I, I do feel that in the end, um, 
we're living in a time where uh, we can't have rational discussions. Um, where where I stand, uh, if someone that's on this side of the aisle will say that uh, I'm anti this, and then uh, this other side would say that I'm pro pro this and all that's like dude i'm just trying to have a rational conversation folks um but it seems like uh we're we're more entrenched on our ideologies than ever and uh that's that is by design and um unfortunately the the media isn't helping uh in fact i even addressed that way back when march 2020 uh, march 12 2020 um off the record media induced panic over COVID 19 isn't helping and over a year and a half later it's gotten worse but i wanted to end this on, on some humor if you haven't seen this this is this is important for you to know because robot chicken called this out years ago Alexa, play some elevator jazz, please. Okay, Mike. I found a smooth jazz playlist in your Amazon Music account. Mm -hmm. Ah, that music is so nice. It almost makes me forget we are out of milk. Huh, that's weird. I just got an offer to buy some milk from Amazon Fresh. So did I. Are you listening to us all the time? No. Right. Organic milk. Instant delivery with Amazon Fresh. Subscribe now. Stop telling us to buy stuff. Stuff magazine is available for subscription or single issue purchase. Yeah! For freedom! Whoa. American flags. Now with free hey, look at shipping. Customers also bought clothes boots and a motorcycle uh, okay. you win to add milk to shopping garden check out <laughs> this is pretty convenient actually mm -hmm. yeah it actually is yes that and that just um <laughs> uh, that's what cracks me up because at the end it's like wow this actually really is convenient <laughs> it's uh, uh i'm working on an episode um uh i'm hoping not to be the only one talking i'm actually hoping this will be an interview um uh, with uh someone in particular i don't want to let the cat out of the bag yet uh but uh, uh it i'm calling the working title behind the scenes is called the good the bad and the ugly about the uh, big tech so if I'm able to make it happen with uh, with a, a guest, that'd be great. Um, otherwise, it'll just be me again. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching this uh, hybrid of talking tech over coffee. So that means this is going on Instagram too. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Mm. Yeah, good stuff.